So welcome everybody. Welcome to um, Hot Song Podcast. The theme for tonight is the ninth dimension, and today is October the tenth, twenty twenty four. So we have the ten ten energy, which is pretty pretty um like like today whole day is I I do feel pretty um um in a good mood. Let's let's put it that way. So. Ninth dimension. Well, I say I say the ninth dimension. Um, but actually, what I really wanted to go over is I know that you know when when you are in um a group meditation with me or with anyone else with Sifu or anyone else for that matter, you feel the energy much stronger, mm -hmm. and you can go to you know fifth dimension, ninth dimension, even higher, and it's not an issue at all. So um, that um, so today I actually want to um, talk about how to like when you're on your own how do you how what's one way that you can use that can take you easily to any of the dimensions that you would want to go to, and I set the ninth dimension. But actually, you can if you feel you want to go to the tenth or eleventh, twelfth, which is is fine. You can go to pretty much any dimension you want with this method. Um, with some practice though, I'm not saying that you know, this, this method is foolproof. You can just you know, click your click your heels and you'll be there. N nothing like that. It's not magic. However, um, this method is something that is that I've tried it and it's um, it has worked. And sometimes I would take you guys to several meditation during a session. And I, I do that intentionally because um, I'm actually using the, the properties of, of this. It's um, so why the ninth? Because um, we are we're getting like we we all on earth anyways. Most people are kind of fourth dimension. We kind of in the fourth dimension between third and fourth dimension, and then some are fourth and fifth dimension in terms of playing in in the the, the their playground, and that's the the playground. So fifth dimension, going to fifth dimension is fairly easy. I think anyone here, if you just have a little bit of patience, you can get to fifth dimension. Not a uh, not an issue at all does not mean that you can stay in fifth dimension all day long, just that when you want to, especially if you're in meditation, you can go to fifth dimension very easily. And sixth dimension, yeah, we've, we've been there. So sixth dimension is um, for this group anyways, because the last couple of times I've, I've taken you all to sixth dimension. So hopefully by now, sixth dimension is more familiar to you. And it's something that you can do on your own, even um, when you're just meditating on your own, you can get there fairly easily. However, um, the seventh dimension, eighth and ninth, those are kind of higher frequency. So especially, you know, ninth dimension is really source consciousness. And um, so, Fifth dimension is really about um, light. So third dimension, fourth dimension, we still have um, a fair amount of, you know, you are still experiencing good and bad. So you, you're playing around with that. And most of the time we kind of, um, we are more, in the third dimension, it's more um, we struggle more. Whereas in the fifth dimension, there's a lot more support to create whatever it is you want. Because um, fifth dimension supports creating from love. So love creation, whatever it is that you love, it's the the energy really supports you to do that. And in terms of healing, though, using different dimensions for healing. Um, Fifth dimension is more about healing the physical, physical body. So fifth dimension is um, 
when you know which part of your body needed healing, you can actually just get yourself to fifth dimension and um, ask for help with you know whatever issue that you have, and you will get it. Okay. And the sixth dimension is um, it's really for releasing. A lot of it is really for letting go of the. Um, it's, it's another level of letting go of individuality and the ego. Because when you get to the seventh dimension, let me, let me just check here. When you get to the seventh dimension, it, there's really no more duality. So you're no longer playing in, you know, good, bad. It's, it's, you understand that every, everything is really serving each other. So that's really more the, the seventh dimension. And when um, and also uh, it's oneness and pure presence as well. So the healing in the seventh dimension is like, because it's, it's oneness and it's non, there's no more um, duality. So when you go up to the seventh dimension, it's like you don't even need to know what it is that needs fixing. When you get there, you will get healing already. And you don't have to, you know, say specifically, you know, yeah, it's my left lung or right eye, nothing like that. You get yourself to seventh dimension and you get the healing already quite, um, quite um, automatic because that's really the dimension where you, you know all of yourself. That's that's really the, the the power of the seventh dimension is when you fully integrate all of yourself, all the past life, all the different versions of yourself, um, whether it is parallel universe or past life, present life, um, all of that yeah. within the seventh dimension is all integrated into one. So when you go to the seventh dimension, you are known. You may not consciously know, you know which part of your body needed help, but the higher frequency part of yourself knows, and they will just send you healing automatically. You don't even have to ask for it. So that's um, what the seventh dimension healing is for. And eighth dimension is um, it's for cosmic knowledge is really divine mind so um so it's not just you no longer you you are you and a lot of the other parts of you come together again so it's it's like the seventh but it's even more expanded the seventh is all of your soul you expanded but whereas the eighth dimension is like um, you, the higher, it's like the monad. It's like the higher versions of you that is not your soul, but similar to you. Those, you integrate all their experiences as well. So that's another profound level of healing. And then the ninth dimension is source consciousness. That's when um, it's pretty much... Um, pure love, um, pure light, and you are not even yourself anymore because it's source consciousness. So it's even before you, your soul, I'm talking about your soul, the highest level of your soul, if, even before that, before you existed, source existed. And then source decides to you know, create some, some other playmates. So, but before that consciousness, that's source consciousness, so that's nine dimension. Um, when to use which one? As I mentioned before, fifth and sixth you can use for more physical, especially on the fifth dimension. It's, it's more physical. Um, and then sixth dimension, you can ask for, because um, we, we go to sixth dimension fairly easy, um, um, I would say, frequently. The sixth dimension is you have a golden 
um, or, or I, I should say 39, 39 inch specifically, but all of six dimension is like that. It's, it's really for um, you, because all the other um, Ascended Masters are accessible there. So you can call on anyone to heal you or help you to solve issues, that kind of stuff. So that is six dimensions. So so fifth and the sixth is still more connected to the physical things that are more related to the human level, whereas seventh is really a lot more expanded. So more spiritual healing, that's seven, eight, and ninth. And, and so so those are the higher frequency. However, as I mentioned before, um, healing, you really have to either, let's say for fifth dimension, you can heal yourself. But it does not mean that you can just get there in five minutes time and it's, you know, everything's done. <clears throat> you may need a little longer. So, so how do you stay in specific dimension longer? Especially when we get to the like, fifth dimension, shouldn't be too much of an issue. If you stay there for 15, 20 minutes, it's still, <clears throat> even when you're on your own, it's it's fairly easily um, sustainable when you put yourself in, in a meditative state. But when you get to the seventh, eighth or ninth, it's not as easy to stay there um, long enough to get a full healing. So that's why that's what I want to talk about tonight is a method for all of you, even when you're on your own, you can you can get to any dimension you want and stay there for longer. So the it's actually fairly simple. It's um it's something called fractionation. Fractionation simply means that um you do that step by step. So just like I mentioned earlier is that sometimes when I'm in, when I hear, I would not just do one big meditation at the end. I would do one meditation at the beginning and then another one, maybe 30 minutes in and then um, like a more longer one later on. Why do I do that? It's because I want to take you all in to a deeper and even access higher dimensions. So when you want to access higher dimensions on your own, then what you can do is actually <clears throat> um, go to fifth dimension, let's say. Fifth dimension, go to fifth dimension, get yourself to fifth dimension. It should be fairly easy. And then stay there for, let's say, 10, 5, 10 minutes, and then come back. Just fully get in, get down to wherever it is that you are. And then the next time when you go, you go to the sixth dimension, for example. And because when you, then the second time when you go to the sixth dimension, the fifth dimension is still like energy of the fifth dimension is still fairly active in your field. So you're not going from, you know, whether you're in 3D, 4D or Five or 5D, you're going from, you're not going from where you are at in normal life to six dimension. That will, if that's a bigger jump. You're actually going from fifth dimension to the sixth. So it's not too big a jump. And then the third man, um, time, like if you still want to go higher, is the, the next one is to um, stay in six dimension first for another, you know, five, 10 minutes or how, as ever long, however long you can get to, and then come back, come all the way back. Just wake up and walk around, you know, just take a break for a few minutes or however long you want to. And then you go, the next time you go to seventh dimension and you will find that it's actually easier to get to the seventh dimension it's easier to stay there because you're actually not going from, you know, 
3D to 7D, you actually still have a lot of the six dimension energy with you. So you're actually jumping from six to seven. So that's what I mean by fractionation is you don't try to go from wherever you are at to ninth dimension, for example. You go to, from wherever you're at, you take the next step and then you come back and then you go a little higher next time, a little higher next time until you get to the dimension that you actually want to get to in order to get healing. So why ninth dimension? Why not ninth, ninth dimension? Because when you go to higher, you actually heal at a soul level, not just at the physical level or emotional level. You actually heal at the soul level. So it's a more complete and it's faster. It's just, um, it's, it's faster and more complete healing. So that's why ninth dimension. We want to go to ninth dimension. So I've talked a little bit. Um, questions? Comments so far? No, you covered that like uh, we have to go from, uh, say, fifth, sixth, and seventh because taking the step by step. Um, I was thinking when you were explaining a fifth and then a seventh, I said, then it's why not we just go to the seventh first? Because sometimes we don't know what's going on in the body. If it's automatic healing, mentally, spiritually, physically, why don't we just stay at the seventh dimension? Yes, instead yes, of going to how fifth? long can you stay in the seventh dimension? Yeah, I see. Okay. <laughs> how long can you stay there? I don't know. Yeah, no, nobody knows. It's just that most most of the time our mind is too active, and um, it's too active to actually stay in the seventh dimension. If you just go from where you are to the seventh, mm -hmm. so if you go step by step, because the sixth dimension is where you get to release a lot of your um, monkey mind. Oh, okay. So. Like if you want to let go of things, sixth dimension. Yes. So, so why go through the sixth? Is because when you go through the sixth and you, and then you go to seven, it's actually easier to stay in seven longer because your mind is blank. Mm -hmm. the The reason why we cannot stay in seventh dimension is because our mind is just way too busy. And when we ask the wrong questions, it actually just takes you out of seven very easily. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So when you go to six, it's easier for you to shut your mind down. And then it's easier for you to go to seven and actually stay in seven long enough to get a complete healing. Thank you. So that's, that's why... Um, like that's why I find that that works for me now. Um, this is like if you can go to seventh dimension and stay there and do whatever you needed to do, not an issue. Then you know, just go there. But if you find it hard to go from you know normal day work life and then go to seventh dimension, if you find that that's hard, then um, this is the method that I suggest is to go step by step. Now, now, Sifu usually, in, like like Nishi, you know, <laughs> <laughs> he would just say, ninth dimension, go, and we will all go. We, and we'll get there because he's Sifu. So he has that. He has, uh, he has really worked on, um, like he has it down that he can take us up there. And I trust that he can do it. But when we are on our own, um, you know, for me, it, can I get to ninth dimension? Yes, but it takes me a little longer. And I find that when I do that, it actually, um, I'm, it's easier for me to stay in ninth dimension longer. And to, so that's, so that's the method that I want to mention to all of you so that, you know, 
and you can all use that. For me, when he say go to fifth and the sixth and seventh, so I trust, okay, I am on fifth or sixth or seventh. Do I really pinpoint if I am on seventh or sixth or fifth? No, I have okay. no idea. I just simply say, okay, he says it's the ninth, okay, nine, uh, activate. And I trust that I am in the ninth dimension. So, That's all I do. Very good point. Thank you for asking. So <laughs> thank you for mentioning that. How do you know you're there? There yes. are signposts that you can, um, that you, that you can um, tell what, where you are. So fifth dimension. Okay. Um, you feel peaceful. So fifth dimension is peace. Sixth dimension, you kind of feel empty. Mm -hmm. Seventh empty dimension. Or everything. What was that? Empty of emotions or everything. When you say empty, what does it empty? Empty, um, I feel it as empty, is that, you know, there's nothing up here. Okay. Because sixth dimension is for releasing. Seventh dimension is you feel you are connected. You feel, you, you feel all of the others and plus you feel you're connected to yourself. Like you feel like who you are only uh, a thousand times more. You really feel that. So when you say you feel it's the awareness of the body or just the space? No, not just the body. You're beyond your body already in, in seven. Ah. You're beyond your body already. Even in six, you, you are not fully aware of your body. Okay. Six, when you release, you also release attachment to the body as well. Okay. So when you get to seven, there's like you are just you you are just consciousness yourself. Eighth dimension is when you and tap into um, other parts of yourself. You can actually tap into, um, let's see. You can actually tap into cosmic knowledge, knowledge that is beyond this reality. So you feel expanded. So one of the ways um, Stephen James for six dimension, he was saying that um, you would feel that your left and right hand, the palm is synchronized. So they pulse together. So that's one of the ways. And also um, for 39 inch, you can actually feel that there is a dome. There's a dome that's, you feel that you're in the cocoon. Okay. And um, that cocoon kind of separates you and it, it provides you a kind of a protection. Haven? Like a haven, safe. A heaven? A haven, H A V E. Like a haven, it's a safety. Right. You feel totally safe. Just... Kind of like that, yeah. Mm. So what What would you be doing? What's the point of doing that? That's what I'm trying to What's think. What's the point of doing what? To be in that space. Because uh, eventually you're still going to come back to this. Yeah, but for healing. Just you go the healing. for healing. Mm. 
as I mentioned, fifth dimension, healing is more about um, physical level. So if you have anything that is physical level, then yeah, go to fifth dimension. And then it's fixed permanently? It's fixed permanently, yes. No, it's fixed permanently. If you what stay there, you if you stay there for the full treatment, then yeah, it's fixed permanently. How long? So how that? we how do we know it is fixed if it's internally and the, the you know that I was saying about my leg and my leg and the Shifu did the healing and I still feel a little discomfort. So what where is the disconnection? Am I not in enough time on the fifth dimension or what is going on? I don't know. Okay. Um, so all right, we we will talk after the class. I Just, don't know. <laughs> thanks. This kind of came up in one of Cornelius's conversations, and uh, this lady she claimed that uh, she had like a lump in her chest, and then. Uh, she had a mammogram scheduled and he told her it's not cancerous when he talked to her. So next day, like she canceled the appointment and then she felt like there's nothing there. But after a while, she started having little doubts. She started feeling a little bit of discomfort in the area. So he did a, another sort of clearing with her. And he said, how is it feeling now? And she's, before she even started, she said, I think I am trying to not let it go. Like, when she's saying, like, you still feel the pain or discomfort. You cannot believe it 100% that it's gone. You, you still have that lingering doubt in your brain. So that keeps telling you, maybe there is still something. That's my point of trying to say. And then of course he, no, it's he, not he, an it's not a mentally because when you feel discomfort, that is your body says that it's a discomfort. Yeah, but the mind is telling you that there is pain. It's not your heart. Your mind is telling you. Ah, okay. Thank you. That's that's the key. There's there's that little doubt of disbelief comes in. So the mind takes over again. What feels pain? Not your body. The mind tells you there is pain. Right, Mini? Um, I do not want to add to that conversation. <laughs> no, thank <laughs> you. <laughs> I really do not want to add to that conversation. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay. Any uh, any other questions, suggestions? So then in the ninth, what are you? Your source consciousness. Like last time we were talking about consciousness. What is consciousness? Source consciousness. Source means you're aware of everything. You're way beyond this level. Why go to source consciousness? Because there are some things that um, you cannot just heal at this, the, the body level. Because if, if there is a, a sole reason why you have an issue, then even if you heal the body, the soul would recreate it again, maybe in a different part of the body. Mm -hmm. So when you go to higher, why go to higher up? Because higher up uh, knows more. Because when you're higher up, you, you actually know your whole journey. You know everything about you, not just, you know, in this dimension, but all dimensions. And know all of the other ins and out. So when you go to ninth dimension and you... Um, it's faster and it's complete. So that's why you would want to go to higher dimensions because when you just heal something that is physical, 
it's like um, if you like to stay up late to watch television and because you do that, so your body is weak because you, you tire your body out. You can regenerate your body's um, energy. But if you keep doing that, for whatever reason, at the soul level, you, there's that addiction that you want to stay up late, then even if you heal the physical level, you would recreate it yourself because you, you still have not tapped into why you have that, why you have that behavior. So when you go higher up, then you find out how come, why somebody would want to do that to themselves. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, but what will they find out? That's what I'm trying to think. That is just um, a that's creative... A very, that's a very broad question. Yeah. You find out the reasons why you create the illness in the first place, I think is the most general answer I can give you. Mm -hmm. You can heal the body part, but if you have not resolved the reason why your body created that issue in the first place, your body will just recreate it. Mm. Because your body is wired in a certain way. Mm. So that's why you you would want to go to higher dimension for healing because it's... Um, when you go to higher dimensions, you get more of the reasons why you create that illness in the first place. And then you so, accept it. So it becomes permanent, sort of. And if you know the whole picture, like that's what you're saying. Yeah, yeah you don't get the whole picture. Because when you're just dealing with the physical level, you left out the emotional, you left out the, the soul choice as well. But it also shows you your past and future. Like... What was that? Sorry? It will also show you your past uh, and future. Sure, if you are interested in that. Mm -hmm. But you don't have to go to different dimensions to do that. Yeah. Even when you meditate. So, so you... Um, Yes, when you go to different dimensions, you can get those information, but you can get those information um, just by activating eyes, your 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 fourth eye, your real eye. You can you can already get those information. It's like third eye. You can you can see past life with third eye. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to go to any dimension. Thank you. Okay. Hello, hello, Tatiana. Hello. Welcome. Thank you. So any uh, other questions about dimensions and the method to get there? Okay. So the rest is simply um, meditations, practice. Because I can talk all I want, but if we can get there and you actually experience it, then you have a, <clears throat> then you would have a, um, a reference, physically reference. You have a reference. So let's, um, 